Hello, friends today we're going to see about the Hyperkale EMEA management protocol. From this video you'll learn, what is Hyperkale EMEA, causes, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, risk factors, treatment protocol. Let's get on to the video. Hyperkalemia A high level of electrolyte potassium in the blood is known as hyperkalemia. Normal potassium levels are between 3.5 and 5.0 millimoles/l with levels above 5.5 millimoles/l defined as hyperkalemia. Causes Hyperkalemia can happen if the kidneys don't work properly and cannot remove potassium from our body or if we take certain medicines. Kidney disease is the most common cause of hyperkalemia. Because kidneys help to control the balance of potassium in our body. If they don't work well, they can't filter extra potassium from the blood or remove it from the body. A hormone called aldosterone tells the kidneys when to remove potassium. Diseases that lower the production of this hormone, such as Addison's disease, can also lead to hyperkalemia. Signs and Symptoms It's important to recognize symptoms of high potassium as soon as possible. Some people don't have symptoms at all. Some may have muscle weakness, numbness, and tingling, nausea and vomiting, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath. ECG Features of Hyperkalemia Diagnosis. Hyperkalemia is diagnosed by a blood test that measures the potassium level in the blood. Other tests, such as an ECG, urinalysis, renal function test may be ordered to look for signs of hyperkalemia if it is suspected. Risk factors. Potassium helps our nerves to function and muscles to contract. It also helps our heartbeat to stay regular. Whereas, hyperkalemia places a patient at extreme risk for arrhythmias just as ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Treatment Protocol The standard hyperkalemia protocol includes administering calcium gluconate or calcium chloride. To reduce the risk of tachyarrhythmias, 10 units of insulin administering facilitate the uptake of glucose into the cells resulting in a potassium shift, and 5 percentage dextrose is used to avoid hypoglycemia in these patients. Monitor the patient's heart and rhythm and follow up with serum potassium lab values. Okay, friends, that's all about today. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.